All right, Steve, thank you. We're staying on top of breaking news in Federal Hill as a group of Baltimore City residents are in the middle of a standoff with utility crews. All right, WJZ live there right now. Paul Gessler has been on Warren Avenue all day. And, Paul, I understand police are about to begin making arrests. Yeah, as you see, Denise, police are detaining three women right now after giving them multiple warnings to leave the street here on Warren Avenue. And you can see two of the women are outside of the van now, and one woman has already been detained. Now, the three women who are being detained into the city police van right now, one of them lives in Washington Hill across the harbor, another lives in Fells Point across the harbor, and another one lives here in Federal Hill. Who all told us that they are against these, uh, the BGE utility work here for the external uh, gas regulators. There have been more than two dozen utility workers standing in Federal Hill Park. That's behind us. At least four police commanders, several officers here making the arrest right now. A handful of members of the mayor's office were here, several journalists. This police van pulled up about a half hour ago and an ambulance as well. The morning started off with the standoff here on Warren Avenue with neighbors sitting on chairs on the sidewalk in front of four homes that had their gas cut off yesterday. It's all over those gas pressure regulators. Crews have to drill three inch holes in the marble and granite. And multiple times today, police commanders have come up to try to mediate this dispute between these residents of the city protesting Baltimore gas and electric gas regulator work and the utility workers who wanted to get their work started. And they have not been working all day because of these protests. Uh, three women are being detained, but there were multiple residents here throughout the day. The last woman, as you see, being loaded up into that police wagon right now. A BGE spokesman said they won't comment on any pending litigation, but these regulators are approved by the Public Service Commission, part of modernizing its system. Thiru Vignaraja plans on filing a lawsuit with the circuit court. He's speaking with some media right now. In fact, let's take a listen. I'm going to go ahead and step up. Let's hear from Thiru Vignaraja. Embarrassed at the idea that bg &E had enough political muscle that it could snap its fingers, get an extended permit, and order a platoon of police officers in a police force that is depleted to come down and arrest three women, handcuff them. For what exactly? For trying to stop BG&E from turning an old man's gas off. And what did he do wrong? He pays his bills, he cleans his house, he is a citizen, a model citizen. What did he do wrong? He didn't want BG&E to drill into the marble facade of his home to put on an external regulator so that BG&E could pad its profits. And for that, they got arrested. We don't, we don't have cops enough for carjackers and killers, but for three women that were trying to stand up for their community and protect the historic character of Baltimore, all of Baltimore, um, BG&E ought to be ashamed of itself, and uh, this ought to be as clear a signal as anyone needs to see about the disproportionate power that this utility company has in this city, the way they abuse it, the way they have politicians on strings. It is. I've never seen anything like it. People have called around this city for years asking for open air drug markets to be cleaned up, for uh, carjackers and killers to be addressed, to be addressed. A platoon all day. There were, what, 20 officers, uh, brass, rank and file, all out here today to make sure that BGE could do its precious work of turning a paying citizen's gas off because the, he didn't want them to drill into his house. So that from Thiru Vignaraja, who is representing these residents here uh, about this BGE issue. And the excavator is starting up right now. The work is about to begin after hours of an impasse, hours of protests. It appears now utility crews are now able to work on Warren Avenue here. To give some additional context, behind you here is Federal Hill Park. This is a very popular neighborhood in South Baltimore. And two of the women arrested are actually from across the water in Fells Point and Washington Hill, who say that they had this done in their neighborhood and they wish they had done this in their neighborhood. That is, protest the work. And as you see, the excavator now finally moving here at 4.38 p.m. after hours long, an entire day without work, the excavator now about to tear up Warren Avenue after police have arrested three Baltimore City residents. For now, in Federal Hill, I'm Paul Gessler reporting for WJZ.